This is a very unique and rare situation to have three individuals in charge of three such important parts of COP, uh, of the COP process. When we took on this role, less than 30% of the global economy had a net zero commitment. We're now at over 90%. COP27 will be the first COP in what is, we believe, should be an implementation decade. We want Abu Dhabi to be where countries turn ledges into concrete results. And we want COP28 to be as inclusive as possible. We believe there's a great potential to uh, take advantage of uh, the uh, resources that are available to, to provide uh, green jobs uh, and to provide uh, opportunities. We now have $130 trillion of assets from the private sector committed to going to net zero by 2050. This is the thinking behind our net zero uh, strategic initiative. We see it as a new economic development opportunity. It is an opportunity that will help us create new industries, new skills, new jobs, new partnerships, new models of engagement with uh, relevant parties around the world. And for us, the business of tackling climate change is simply a, a good business opportunity. And as such, uh, we are progressively approaching it. And as I've said before, uh, Fred, we should always remember that our goals by undertaking these activities and these initiatives is to hold back emissions, not to hold back progress or economic development.